We are in Kotor, Montenegro, and this has to be one of the most picturesque cities we have ever visited. We are definitely getting worse and worse at doing research of places before we get there, but we had no idea that this city has complete 360 views of gorgeous, gorgeous mountains. And we just got lunch in the historic Old Town, and we didn't know that to get to the Old Town, you have to go through the city walls to get into that district, and we were just blown away. So far, we are loving this town. The end goal of today is to make it to a cheese shop at the top of a hill, but along the way, there are a bunch of different stops that we're gonna hit, like a fortress, some of the old city walls, and a few other things that should be super amazing. We've gotten a quick sneak peek of it from the ground, but to see them up close is gonna be really amazing. Just five minutes into the hike, this is the view that we come up to. We just paid the entrance fee of eight euros per person, and it looks like we've already made it to the first part of the castle walls. <laughs> I'm just barely too short. It would protect you pretty well. Yeah. But it seems like the whole hike is going to be along the castle wall, and it looks like there's going to be some pretty incredible views the entire time. We're definitely excited. Wish we had started earlier, before 3.30 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> but it may be nice weather when we're on our way back. I'll never get tired of looking at all the red roofs. I love them. I think it was a barracks. It's not too much anymore. Just stay whole. The sign says it's an artillery platform. Cool. First stop over. While it's not actually a super long distance to the top, it's pretty much just a zigzag the entire way and it's straight uphill. So it's actually pretty difficult of a hike, but it still says it should only take like 30, 40 minutes. So I grew up in Colorado Springs, and in Colorado Springs there's a hike called the incline, which is essentially just a staircase going straight up the mountain. And this feels a lot like that. We're doing a staircase right up the mountain. But this one has even crazier views, and it's not at a mile high altitude, so it feels a lot better. I think we're getting close to our first big um, yeah. stop of the hike. It's right here. Oh, awesome. We made it to the church. looks really crazy on the picture but honestly it doesn't look it, it, it looks pretty realistic <laughs> oh, that looks <laughs> oh my gosh. this is so steep it never shows on the camera <laughs> Here, go up there and look oh, down at me. There we go. Oh. Yeah. There's pomegranates growing up here. Oh That's awesome. Crazy. So this is what, our fifth or sixth fortress? I have no idea. Either way, we've said it pretty much every time that this one has been our favorite. But this one is crazy. It's apparently... <laughs> Apparently it took 300 years to build this part of it. It's it's That's and it's crazy. like a full there's like a full military barracks and it's it's overgrown. It's so cool. <laughs> Look at this. We're just you get to standing in this doorway this of this overgrown part of the fortress. And that's on the other side. I'm feeling shaky. <laughs> and I'm standing on this tiny platform. This is so cool. This is my favorite so far. Yeah, definitely. Hmm. 
Uh oh. Yeah, wait, what? There's a there's a much easier circuit. Oh, so <laughs> Watch out, that's a long, long drop. <laughs> Don't film and walk. <laughs> I don't think it's five yet, but the sun looks like it's gonna set before too long. I guess that's one downside of being in the middle of a bay. The mountains are pretty tall. I wonder if we can get up there. I don't know, let's find out. I hope it's not part of that blocked off part. Yeah, it might be. So just, oh, what does that say? Danger. No one missed it, okay. I guess we can't go in this part. Look how cool this part is. I'm so disappointed that we can't go in it. Yeah, down there's where we were. And then there's this whole staircase that comes up here. And then you have this uh, cylinder thing. <laughs> and then there's more stairs that go up. Ah, oh, I so badly wish we could go through there. think that may be the cheese shop there. I'm not sure exactly how we're gonna make it, but apparently this path leads over there. The bottom of the hill is already in shade. I think we're in a race against the sun. <laughs> wow. We made it to the top. Wow. It's pretty cool. So far, I think on the official Marshall's flag tier list, Montenegro is number one, but we haven't been to Albania yet, and Albania is definitely my favorite flag. But for now, Montenegro has the coolest flag, in my opinion. Yep, definitely the best flag that we've seen <laughs> so far. We keep thinking we're making it to the end, but then there's just more and more. I'm so curious what this used to be. You can't see it from where we're at, but the drop on this side of the mountain is pretty much just as steep as this. I can see why it worked so well as a fortress. <laughs> The craziest thing about this is once you even were to make it up to the top of it, it would still feel like a maze. It'd be almost impossible to break into this. It's so cool. I think I figured out why there's so many more people than we were expecting here. I think it's the perfect place to view the sunset. I haven't even thought about that. <laughs> Are we gonna stay for the sunset? I feel like it's still kind of far away. Yeah, it seems like it's gonna be a while. <laughs> the fortress is starting to get super crowded with people who are watching the sunset up there. So we're gonna head down and try to find the cheese shop, which is hopefully still open. We have some directions from Google Maps, but we don't, we're not positive those are right. So hopefully we will actually get there. <laughs> Yeah, currently the map says it's going to take eight minutes to get there, and I am very much not confident in that. It seems like it's a really far way away. It's not that far away. We just haven't seen a trail that will go that way. So, like, visually it's really close, but we'll see. It's on the other side of a valley. <laughs> Does this seem like something I'm going to be able to climb down? Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's where we're trying to go. <laughs> okay, they say yes. I think. Oh, it's closed? <laughs> okay. Oh. oh, glad I heard that before I climbed down. We heard somebody say that the cheat shop is closed. So Marshall climbed back up and we're going back down exactly the same way that we came up. So no cheat shop today, which is sad, but at least we knew before we climbed all the way over there to find out that it was closed. That would have been really disappointing. That would have been so sad. <laughs> With this new change in plans, I think we may just be heading back down 
and going to the wine shop. So I think we'll get to taste some Montenegrin wines, which, which we've heard are really amazing. I really thought this may be a situation where since we started this hike at four o'clock, that there wouldn't be that many people up there, but I really did not take into account the sunset or how much nicer the weather would be after the sun would set. So we have passed so many people as we're going down and we're going up. And yeah, it's definitely been the most crowded on this second half of our hike. We also learned that you have to pay the entrance fee of eight euros per person during most of the day. But if you come before 8 a.m. or after 8 p.m., you don't have to pay that. So I bet this just gets even more crowded as it gets after 8 p.m. It's still like 6 or 6.30 right now. But I bet it definitely gets more crowded in the evening. So the wine I was talking about earlier was the Bronach, and I got it. It's just a red wine, and I don't know much about wine, so I doubt I'll be able to talk much about it, but I'm sure it'll be good. It's like, it's super dry. It's very, very dry. It almost, it also almost tastes like it's carbonated in a weird way, <laughs> but it, it's so different. It's like definitely the most dry wine I've had. It's dry and really fruity. Good. Really fruity. It's really good. This one was much more expensive than we were expecting. So this one is the cheapest white. <laughs> so I don't have much to say. It's white white. <laughs> A really cool part of the city is that a lot of it is actually enclosed inside of the city walls. So after getting a euro, we are exiting and we're going to go back. Here's the exit. And right outside the city walls, you have a bench of water and then you look up and there's the lights of the fortress that we climbed. It's absolutely wow, incredible. That's incredible. <laughs> Well, that's going to be it for our first day in Montenegro. Thank you so much for watching. If we don't see you again here, we'll be in Albania next.